This is the 2021 Toyota Avalon and it's the TRD trim edition. And today we're going to review it. Today, we're working with our friends at Heinz Toyota in Mankato, Minnesota. Hey folks, I'm Rob. And I'm Nathan. And we are Two, Two Guys, Guys in a Ride. Ride. Say, Nate, tell the folks what we're taking a look at today. Today, folks, we're taking a look at this sweet looking Toyota Avalon. It's a 2021 and it's, it is the TRD version. That's right, TRD trim, and it's really absolutely gorgeous. I love it, Nate, I love it. I do it too. So say, before we take a look and do a review, if you wanna keep up to date with all the new cars, trucks, and SUVs, and you wanna know how to use all the infotainment and technology that's built in, inside of them, plus you like cool collector car stories. Take a moment and hit that subscribe button, leave us a comment, and hit that bell notification so you never miss a video. Yep, so thanks for watching. That's it. That's it. Oh, We're no, done. I'm sorry. So what do you say, Nate? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, go for a ride. ride. Oh, yes. This is the 2021 Toyota Avalon TRD Edition, and it's presented here in Wind Chill Pearl, and it has a midnight black metallic and black with red contrast soft text and ultra suede interior. This particular one is stickered at $46,000. $483. Now, I have to apologize if you hear a loud shrill. Uh, we are out of the park and there are some kids on swing sets and they're making a lot of noise. Uh, this particular car is powered by a 3.5 liter V6 double overhead cam, 24 valve, dual injection engine producing 301 horsepower and 287 pound foot of torque. It's driven by a direct speed, direct shift eight speed electronic, electronically controlled transmission with intelligence and it is front wheel drive. Now, out front, these are the LED reflector headlights with smoked chrome bezels and they do have the auto on and off feature. It also does have the LED daytime running lights and they just look menacing. I love it. You do also have the front gloss black grill and this does have the mesh sport insert and that's really cool it looks good i think it looks menacing it also has the aerodynamic front tangential venting which vents the air around the front wheels and it has the trd gloss black front splitters up top there is an acoustic noise reducing windshield and there is high solar energy absorbing glass as well Plus, these are washer-linked variable intermittent windshield wipers. So, let's take a look around the side. Okay, along the side, we've got to take a look at these beautiful 19 by 8.5 TRD matte black alloy wheels. And they're wrapped in 235-40 R19 all-season tires. And then I like the matte black center logo cap with the TRD, the red TRD logo. Now this does have four wheel anti-lock brakes and it has 12.9 front ventilated brake disc with the red calipers and it has the 11.06 rear brake disc and it has rear calipers that are painted red as well. This uh, does ride on front and rear anti-vibration subframes. It also has an independent McPherson strut front suspension with TRD track tune springs, shocks and stabilizer bar and Outback is a multi-link rear suspension with TRD track tune suspension, springs, shocks, and stabilizer bar as well. I love, too, then these gloss black TRD uh, arrow skirts and with the red pinstriping. They're just so cool. And then you see it does have the body color door handles with the lo uh, lock unlock sensor. And these are the gloss black heated power outside mirrors with turn signal indicators and blind spot warning indicators located on the glass uh, mirror part. Uh, it does have the gloss black belt line and window trim and on the passenger and driver front windows it has the acoustic noise reducing glass. Up top here is a midnight black roof and it does have a power tilt and slide moonroof with a sliding sunshade. Let's take a look around the back. 
Okay, out back, it does have a heated rear window, and this is the TRD gloss black rear spoiler, and I like the black Toyota emblem, and then, of course, the black Avalon lettering across the, uh, the red reflector. And down below, of course, you get the red TRD badge. Now, these are LED brake lights and tail lights. It has the body-colored rear bumper, and, of course, it has the TRD gloss black rear diffuser with red pinstriping. And my favorite is the TRD Catback Dual Exhaust, and they have the beautiful chrome stainless steel tips. And we'll take a listen. Okay, so let's take a look at the cargo area. All right, we have our carry-on suitcase in here just to demonstrate the size. Uh, there is a compact spare tire mounted inside underneath the cargo floor. Now, cargo volume with the seats up, the second row up, as you see it here, is 16.09 cubic feet. With the seats down, the cargo floor length from the sill to the fir uh, first row is 77 inches. From the second row to the sill, 46 and a half inches. Cargo width at the belt line is 45 inches, and inside, cargo width at the wheelhouses is 45 and a half inches. Cargo opening height is 20 inches, and lift over from the ground into the trunk is 26 and a half inches. So, what are some of the safety systems on the Avalon TRD? Well, you can get the enhanced vehicle stability control, traction control, four wheel anti lock brake system electronic brake force distribution, brake assist, front and rear body absorbing crumple zones, which, you know, that's pretty important uh, in the case, in the event you were to get an accident. Uh, it also has the pre-collision pre -collision system with pedestrian detection. It has lane departure alert with steering assist that'll bring you back into your lane as well as alert you with a light. Uh, it has the automatic high beams, full speed, range dynamic radar cruise control and i always say that wrong so i wanted to make sure i get it right this time and it does have the uh, blind spot monitor system rear cross traffic alert and so very much more lots of safety built into most cars nowadays so options available for this avalon trd you can get the uh, 14 speaker jbl audio system there's an advanced safety package and, of course, a moonroof package, which this particular vehicle actually does have. So, let's talk about the dimensions. Okay, the front track is 62.6 inches, the rear track 63.4 inches, overall width 72.8 inches, overall length 195.9 inches, and its height is 55 0.9 inches. It rides on a wheelbase of 113 inches and it has a ground clearance of 5.3 inches. Its curb weight 3,655 pounds and it has a maximum payload 940 pounds. Turning circle 38.6 feet and a fuel tank capacity of 15.8 gallons. So what about the safety? Well, IIHS has an overall rating of good, and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration has an overall rating of five out of five stars. Not bad at all. Very safe vehicle. So performance, performance with this TRD. What have they done? Same horsepower, different speed and shifting, 5.8 seconds, zero to 60, quarter mile, 14.4 seconds, top speed, 132 miles per hour, and braking, 70 to zero, 125 feet. Not bad at all. Okay, appearance. Well, you can see it's a long car and the lines on the side add a sense of both urgency and luxury. It's kind of got speed built into it. That's really kind of cool. All right, dependability. Typical Toyota, you've got your basic warranty of three years, 36,000 miles. It has a drivetrain warranty of five years, 60,000 miles. Um, you know, again, dependable, Toyota. Economy, 21 city, 30 highway, 25 combined. So, in summary, Toyota took the largest sedan it sells in America and gave it the full TRD treatment. There are firmer fixed dampers that are paired with stiffer springs, stiffer anti-roll bars, and 
more robust body bracing underneath. The TRD also gets Toyota's active cornering assist technology and those beautiful 19 inch uh, TRD wheels and larger brakes. Toyota went way further than just building a sporty looking Avalon. This car is a reminder of how good a big sedan can actually be. So that's my exterior review. If you've missed any of the information in this review, you can rewatch the video, of course, or you can just check out my notes in the description area down below. Now let's take a look inside, but before we do, take a moment, give us a like, leave a comment, and please click on that subscribe button down below. So what do you say, Nate? Take it away. And stepping on the inside of this beautiful Avalon TRD, uh, notice the, uh, the, the red stitching. You can see a lot of red uh, TRD stuff uh, throughout the whole car. Uh, the door itself here, we've got auto up and down, all four windows. You've got your lock and unlock, your window lockout, got your mirror controls. And then, of course, I really like the, uh, the aluminum trim that they have in various places in the car. You do have a fairly deep uh, bottle storage area here and a little bit of storage behind that. Now the driver's seat is an eight-way power, not including a two-way power, so a total 10-way power driver's seat. And the passenger side is a eight-way power without the lumbar. Again, you're gonna notice the red stitching on the seats, part of the TRD package. And I love the, the center stripe in the middle and then the TRD logo right in the headrest. Notice also the red seat belts. And then, of course, you have some red trim uh, up here on the uh, shifter. And you have some red trim on the dashboard and, of course, on the red stitching on the steering wheel. Now, down below, you do have the aluminum pedals and your footrest. So down here you have your hood release, then moving on up here, you've got your trunk release, your fuel door release, your uh, auto high beam and auto light system right here on or off and trash control on or off. Uh, just to the right of that, you've got an odometer trip button and then you've of course got your dashboard brightness and dimness controls. And again, you can get up close see some of this nice red stitching right here. The steering wheel itself is a tilt and telescope and it is manual on that lever is right here. All right, well, let's step inside. All right, it is a push start. I love the TRD logo that's specific to this car. Yeah, gotta like that. All right, so on your left, you've got your R uh, analog RPM gauge, you've got your uh, engine temperature gauge. Over on the right, you've got your analog speedometer along with your analog fuel gauge. And then uh, in the middle, of course, you have a seven inch driver's information screen. Uh, and uh, we have done an, a video, a how-to video on this already. And, uh, and also on the infotainment screens, if you wanna see the details of those things, click on the link above. Coming on back, the steering wheel, you do have paddle shifters back here. And then uh, you do also have your steering wheel control. So uh, over here on the left, you have all the buttons that will run your driver's information screen, uh, as well as a back button. You have a phone button here, you have a voice command button, and then you do have a media volume control right here. Over on the right, you have your gap setter for your adaptive cruise control, and this does have fully adaptive cruise control. Your lane keeping assist here, and then of course cruise on or off, resume, set, cancel, and then plus or minus to increase while you're in cruise. Uh, you have your media selection. You can switch radio stations, tracks, that kind of stuff. And then you have the different modes for the infotainment screen. So whether you want uh, AM or FM radio or Apple CarPlay or whatever, those modes are all right there. Now, on the TRD specifically, you'll notice this red stitching. It goes all the way around. It looks very, very nice. Love all the little red touches they've done. Okay. Moving on over to the infotainment screen, uh, you have a uh, nine inch screen, and this is, uh, you've got a lot of physical buttons on the sides, which I like to see. And then of course, this does have navigation, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Bluetooth, Sirius XM, AM, FM, and HD radio, and Amazon Alexa. So with that alone, you can do just a ton of things. All right. 
Uh, the physical buttons, of course, you have a home button, a menu button, an audio button, a map button, your power twist and turn, uh, volume, powers push, and then you've got a seek forward, seek backwards, the phone, and then the apps button and a tune and scroll button right there. Coming down below that, a little hard to see, they were on earlier, but you have seatbelt indicators to tell you whether the people in the uh, other seats, uh, other three seats, are buckled. So that's a really nice feature to have, and they'll light up in red if they're not when you start up the car. This is a dual auto zone climate control system. So you got your temperature setting for the driver, you got the temperature setting for the passenger, you have got all of your physical controls, which I, again, I like it. I, I like having them in, in the, info, in, in the uh, infotainment screen, but I really like having them physical as well. And this is your mirror, uh, your outside mirror defroster button, as well as your rear, rear window defroster. This is your auto button. And then this, uh, both front seats are three stage heated. Right above that, of course, you've got your hazard button. And then a nice digital display right here, telling you what the temperatures are in each zone. Down below that, you have a nice storage area. Um, wireless phone charging is an option, and, and that would go in here if it had it. And uh, then coming on back, you do have a, a nice leather shifter, and it's got the red TRD stitching on it. It's got it several places, and then along down uh, this cover right here as well. Um, it is, of course, manual, but if you want to uh, use Tiptronic shifting or the paddle shifters, you can knock it over. And then you can either use the stick shift or you can use the paddle shifters. Now, this does have uh, a backup camera. So if I put it in reverse here in a minute, you'll see that. And it does have dynamic swivel guidelines. Uh, you have a button to turn on and off your guidelines. Or you have a button to change and get a slightly wider angle view. Down below that, you do have two cup holders. Um, this is the first time I think I've seen one shaped like this, almost like a horseshoe shaped. Uh, but there are some very nice... Um, plastic inserts right here that will expand uh, when you have a smaller cup or, or contract when you don't. And the front is the same way. So it'll fit multi-sized cups. Moving over to the left, we have some buttons. These are your driving modes. So you've got Eco, Normal, and Sport. And boy, is there a difference between Eco and Sport or even Normal and Sport. You really notice the difference. Down here, you have your auto hold button, and this is for when you push, if you activate this, if you push the brakes out of, like, say, a stop sign or stop light, let your foot off the brake, the car will remain stopped until you press the accelerator. You do have an electronic parking brake, and that is a pull to activate and a push to deactivate. All right, center console storage. Let's pop that open. I'm gonna pop this tray right out here, and you do have your two USBs here for connecting to Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, and then you have another charging port right here. Oops, am I putting that wrong? I think I am. Okay, down below that, you've got some nice deep storage area, and it has got a, a soft cover uh, over the bottom. All right, moving on over to the glove compartment. It's got a nice dampened opening. Um, it doesn't look like it's that big, but it does reach way back there. So there's quite a bit of storage in there. Don't let that little cover fool you. Coming on up, you do have an auto dimming rear view mirror. And then your three home link buttons are underneath this. Coming up a little bit further, you have, of course, your, your reading lamps. You got those switches here. You can turn all the lamps on. And this one here will determine whether the dome lights come on when you have the doors open or not. You've got your SOS button under here. These two over here control your sunroof. So this is open and closed, and this is to put it up or down. The sun visors have lights on either side of them, okay? And if we pop them out, they do telescope. And that's the same for both sides. All right, let's step in the second row and take a look. All right. In the rear door, you've got a little bit of pocket storage. You've got a place you could do a bottle storage right there. You've got auto up and down window switch. You've got two of your JBL speakers. And then of course the nice aluminum door handle and the trim right down here, along with the red stitching from the TRD uh, package. Now the seats themselves, you can see that they also have the uh, uh, TRD red stitching, the red seat belts. I mean, they're exactly the same as the front seats, except for they don't have TRD stitched into the headrest. Um, now the outside, 
outside of all the seats uh, is Softex, and then the inside is Ultra Suede. Both of uh, the seats have matte pockets in them. And then in the center, of course, you've got your air vents, and then you've got dual USB outlet. All right, let's step inside and see what we have for space. Okay, oh my goodness. So I left the seat where I had it when I was driving, <laughs> and I have like eight inches of space, maybe 10. I mean, it's, it's huge. What a very, very spacious. Headroom-wise, I've got about an inch and a half, two inches, somewhere in that vicinity, but lots of headroom. All right, the seats themselves are quite comfortable. They're bolstered on, the, on either side, uh, and so you, you kind of get planted into them, so they're, they're very comfortable. In the middle, of course, you do have an armrest, and the thing that's interesting is that the armrest kind of goes down all the way to the seats, uh, but it does provide a nice uh, armrest for you, and also then you have dual cup holders with a pass-through. Uh, up on the roof here, you do have two reading lights. These are also LEDs. And then you, of course, have the grab handle and a coat hanger hook. The seats themselves, of course, don't recline, but they do fold completely forward to give you a pass through to the back and for you to store some longer things in your trunk should you need that. All right, taking a ride. My turn first. And boy, oh boy already <laughs> I like the sound I'm getting already that's something I do have it in sport mode so hopefully you'll be able to hear the exhaust as well and it's going to be a little bit of a rolling punch but here we go oh boy Hope you heard that right up there. Boom, right at the speed limit now. Holy cow, that's awesome. That was fantastic. <laughs> oh, nice punch. Not what you expect from a, a large sedan, the Avalon. Oh boy. Um, you know, it's really quiet in here, except you got to hear that, that uh, exhaust rumble. That was really cool. Uh, very spacious, very quiet. Love the red seat belt uh, and the red stitching and contrast in the seats as well. Fit and finish, it's it's nice. It's a Toyota. It's absolutely spectacular. I like the red stitching on the dashboard. You got like a fake carbon fiber looking pattern. Let me get over here. Uh, soft touch materials, you know, everywhere. You've got nice center console, nice cup holders. Everything's well laid out, very nicely done. Um, safety systems. Well, just like most modern cars, you've got so many things from the cameras to the to the uh, radar crews, uh, to the Toyota safety sense, uh, to you know, cross uh, traffic alert, pedestrian braking. All those really, really cool features that most cars now have in them. Toyota has those in spades. On the highway, she's just cruising right along. Nice and comfortable, quiet. You can have an easy conversation with other folks in the car. Um, yeah, not bad. So Nathan's coming up next, so stay tuned so we can hear what his, uh, his view and his idea about what's going on with this interior how he feels about it so stay tuned all right my turn to drive so uh boy right now i have it set just in normal mode and honestly it feels like i'm dri driving just a regular avalon so i say that in a positive way it, it you know i didn't i never wanted the, the trd version to not act like a real avalon but i wanted to have something extra and uh it <laughs> It does, and a little bit of here will put it into sport mode, but um, quiet, refined, like you'd expect an Avalon to be. And um, this very comfortable ride. The the low, little lower profile tires, you pick up a little bit more of the, the little strips in the road. Um, but other than that, wow, really nice ride. Easy to get in and out. Well, it's lower to the ground, uh, so that presents its own set of challenges, but uh, that being said, it's 
relatively easy. Like most modern cars, pretty much everything you need is right on your steering wheel, including voice command. And if you need to reach over, well, you've got uh, your you know your nine inch infotainment screen, uh, which is touch, but it's also got lots of physical buttons on it. And then your climate control system, uh, even though you can access it through the infotainment screen, is also uh, all physical buttons. So very, very easy to get to. You know, the seats themselves are very comfortable. Um, I, I love the looks on them. They feel very supportive. That lumbar is very nice on the driver's seat. And then of course you have eight-way power to adjust, you know, any, any position you want. In terms of just parking, uh, this does come with the rear view backup camera with dynamic swivel guidelines and it also has front and rear parking sensors. So those uh, make it very, very nice uh, when you're pulling into a parking lot, especially at a shopping mall or in front of your garage or somewhere like that. Um, so parking, relatively easy. All right, so my favorite thing is on the outside this time, and it's just the whole look of the car. I, I, I love this, this white along with all the blackout that's done and then accident with the red. This looks absolutely awesome. My favorite thing. Okay, and my favorite thing, uh, Nathan kind of picked up on it. I like the black and red accents, but I really do like these matte black TRD wheels with the uh, TRD center cap and the bright red calipers. That's my favorite thing. Well, that's our review of the 2021 Toyota Avalon TRD, and we appreciate you spending some time with us. Make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and please click on that subscribe button down below. Thanks for watching.